Hello everyone, welcome to another Blender 3D tutorial on how to make a dragon 2.0. Today we'll be focusing on modeling the horns and hopefully something else near the end of it. Well, right now the horns are pretty easy. Just make an opening in the faces, just delete them near the top of the head, grab the vertices, make them more circular like a horn would be. Grab the vertices again, just um, just edit them, move them up, in anything really. Okay, that looks nice. Let's just move those a little bit more and grab them. Now we're going to extrude up. There we go. Well, not that far. I'm going to resize it extrude again, just put it there. I just rotate it a little bit. I'm gonna extrude again. Checking out on side view, it looks a little bit weird. There we go. Okay, let's extrude. Resize again. Make sure it looks nice. Extrude. and just basically follow the guideline. Your horns that I gave the, the side view that you're using are a lot easier than mine, trust me. So you probably won't have any problems doing that easy horn mark, but if you want to try something else, be creative. Make a ram horn, a deer horn. Almost anything is possible with Blender. Well, when it comes to modeling, well, probably everything's possible. Now this part is optional but not required. I'm just grabbing the vertices um, from the eye and I'm extruding it outward and resizing it so it's smaller so it has more of a round curve. We're finally going to be working on the arms. Just make a hole on the body where you think the arm will be most will work the best. I actually have a little bit of trouble here figuring out where I want it to be. So kind of mess around, but you get the general idea. You just need to make a hole in the body and then you'll extrude it. Much like I did the, with the horn. Obviously this looks pretty bad so far, but I just moved the vertices out of it. It looks too weird. I'm going to put the vertices back on and I'm going to go lower on its chest area after I finish those. Chest. And there we go. Grabbed four faces, deleted them. Now I'm going to mess around with the vertices to make sure that I have a good chest area and a shoulder area to extrude from. grab all these faces and I'm going to loop cut exact and I made a, a cut around it. And this is optional but this will make it so that you have a nicer looking shoulder when you move it out. Just moving the quads so they're more like quads and less like triangles. Chest is kind of wonky, but I'll be able to fix that leg later, no problem.
Okay, grab those vertices and move it down a little bit and extrude. Gonna edit that a little bit more. I'm very finicky when it comes to this. Okay, let's try this again. Or not. Megan, work faster! Faster! Megan, you need to sleep. <laughs> you better extrude. You're gonna extrude? Yeah, you extruded. Yay! There you go. Okay, let's extrude from that again. And just follow your guidelines on the front view. You basically have to go with your gut and your head. Extrude. I think you get the general idea of what you need to do right now. Of course, the leg on the front view is way too thin. Let's resize that with SX. That looks nice. Now this is actually different from how I do normal feet. I'm actually just going to keep on extruding. And on the front view you notice we have these ghastly, thin, bug-like paws that are horrible. But that can be fixed. Just grab the faces and resize on the x-axis. Now we have these weird balls. <laughs> just move them around. And you'll go through a few minutes just tweaking that around to make sure that it looks good. Doing this, you could actually make a very easy basic paw. Oh, well, you're running out of time. Ch stay tuned for my next tutorial. See you later.